welcome to Cooking with a Twist. Please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you. Today, I'm making hapshi halva using Zubia Shahid's recipe. She makes the most amazing desi sweets, and this is no exception. It's super easy and super delicious. Making this halva is as simple as preheating the oven to 350, throwing everything in a pot, or aluminum tray in this case, and you're halfway there. I've made this recipe a few times now, so I've got some great tips for you guys. First thing first, let's preheat that oven to 350 so that by the time we're done assembling everything, it's ready to go in the oven. Now, first thing I wanna talk about is the tray. I have used both the large and the medium sized one. I prefer the medium sized one because I feel it cooks a little bit better. That's a 13 by nine and a half diameter tray or something similar. The recipe also calls for two cups of walnuts, which taste amazing if you do it that way. I've used one cup of walnuts, so the only thing I changed in the recipe was uh, instead of two cups of walnuts, just do one, and it's amazing. Mouth-watering, delicious. I'm getting way ahead of myself here. Let's back things up a little bit and start all over again from preheating the oven to 350. I don't know about you, but I don't have cardamom powder. So six cardamom pods ground really fine in a spice grinder is just perfect for this recipe. Going back to my tray, I'm going to add two cups of whole milk, two cups of walnuts, or if you prefer like me and my family, we're gonna do one cup of walnuts, two cups of sugar, one teaspoon of cardamom powder, one teaspoon of nutmeg, two sticks of butter. Each stick of butter is about half a cup or 113 grams. Four cups of non-fat dry milk. When you're putting it in the oven, don't mix anything. Put it in there just like that and let it do its thing. 10 minutes into the baking process is gonna be the first time you're going to mix. And then after that, every eight to 10 minutes. Everyone's cook time is gonna be a little different depending on their oven. For me, it took about two hours and 10 minutes. Hour into baking, you'll notice that the color is starting to change. It's getting darker brown and it'll start rapidly darkening towards the end. When you have your desired dark brown or dark orange color, you know it's done. You're gonna take it out into a tray to let it cool or whatever you wanna serve it in. You can garnish the top with more walnuts, almonds, or whatever nuts you prefer.